Have you ever spent hours debugging your code just to discover a little error that caused your program to fail? Because I did. Isn't this frustrating? Assume you are developing a large, complex Python program. Everything seemed to be going fine until out of nowhere, bam, an unexpected error causes your software to crash. What if there was a way to detect those errors earlier? This is where assert statements come in. Let's define an assert statement using a basic example. Here, we have a function that divides two numbers. Before performing the division, we use an assert statement to check that the divisor b is not zero. If b is zero, the assert statement will raise an assertion error with a custom error message. Simple, right? Then let's get into the syntax of an assert statement. First, the keyword assert is written, followed by a condition that we expect to be true. If the condition is false, an assertion error is raised, optionally, with a custom error message. Like this. Let's look at another example to see it in action. In this example, we ensure that the argument passed to the square underscore root function is either zero or greater than zero. If someone accidentally passes a negative number, the assert statement will catch it immediately, preventing any incorrect calculations or unexpected behavior. So why do we use assert statements? The primary objective is to serve as a sanity check. They assist in identifying errors and bugs during the development process. This can save us hundreds of hours of troubleshooting later on. Here's another example to show how assert statements can make our code more understandable and reliable. In the process underscore data function, the assert statements clearly state that data should be a list and all items in the list should be integers. This not only helps catch errors, but also serves as a form of documentation. That's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Python goodness. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos.